As a beginner in Python, writing for loops to go over things like strings and lists are fairly straightforward, but they're a bit different when it comes to dictionaries. And the reason why is that we can choose to go over the keys, the values, or items being both the keys and values. Let's take a look at how to do all three. Now, if you're to write just a regular for loop like this, by default, Python is going to go over the keys of your dictionary. So hitting run, we can see we do indeed get the keys being the four names here. You can actually explicitly ask for the keys by using the dot keys method upon your dictionary. Now, suppose you want to go over the values instead. I'm going to change this to V just so it makes a bit more sense. All you've got to do is get rid of keys here and change this to values. Now, values is a method which gives a dynamic view of the values upon your dictionary. I say dynamic because suppose, for example, you create the dictionary, then you do some stuff here to edit some of the values. Calling values here will make sure that you're getting the latest iteration of what your values actually are. So running this now, we can see we do indeed get the values from our dictionary. Now the last one, which is probably the most complex, is what happens if you want to access both? Let's suppose we just did items instead here and just print V. What you get is a tuple of length 2, where you basically get the key up front and then the value on the right hand side here. What you can do, which is a bit nicer, is unpack this tuple. So if you do something like for kv in namesages.items and then print kv, we can actually access these as two separate entities. So now the printout looks a little different. And what's cool about this is, say, for example, you want to say, give me all the keys, whether your value is above a certain amount. You could do something like, if v is over 30, then let's go ahead and print kv here. So this time we only get alex43. So using keys, values, or items, those are the three methods you can use if you want to access different parts of your dictionary.